In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a macro and add it to your toolbar. And this is in Microsoft Word. First thing that you need to do is add the developer tools to your menu. And you do that by going to the top of your uh, Microsoft Word. There is a little down arrow. And you select that. And it will allow you to select more commands. From the more commands, select custom ribbon. And if you notice on mine, everything is selected except for developer. And developer, this is really for creating code behind the scenes of Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click OK. And now you can see that there is a developer menu added to the main menu bar. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to select Visual Basic. Bring that into the screen. So now what I want to do is I want to expand the normal and Microsoft Word objects. And once I am in there, I'm going to double click on this document under normal, which will open up this window. Then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to import file. So I will go search for that particular BAS file that I have. It's in my documents and there it is. And I'm going to select open. And what it'll do is it'll open up this modules and that particular module, if I double click on it, will show me all the code. So once done, I will click on file, save normal, and go ahead and close this. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to verify that the macro is in there. So I'm going to select from my developer menu, select macros. And I have this new macro in there called clean test. And that's just the macro that I added. I'll cancel that. And so now I want to add it to this toolbar. I'm going to place it up on the top tools because I'm going to use this often. So once again, I'm going to select customize the quick access, go to more commands, and from there, I'm going to choose commands, and right now popular commands, but one of the options is macros. So I'm going to select macros, and I see that my new macro is in there, clean test. I'm going to add that to the toolbar, but I'm going to also modify it. I want a different icon, so I'm going to select modify, and I'm going to select uh, this exclamation mark and so it'll look something like that and I'll click OK. And so now my new macro is there. If I mouse over it, you'll see the name. And when I click it, it'll run the macro for me. There's nothing there, but uh, the macro is available. So just one final cleanup. I don't necessarily need the developer tools there all the time, so I'm going to go back in to more commands, go to customize ribbon, and unselect developer. And things are, are clean. The only thing is I have a new macro. And that is all there is to adding a new macro from a file into Microsoft Word and getting it onto the ribbon bar.